Our next presentation is uh, from James Archibald, MK Bay Marina. <coughs> Madam Mayor and Council, uh, James Archibald. I reside at 1461 Cornwall Avenue. Being a small business person that have been for nearly 18 years, I own tugboats and barges. I support all local contractors in the region, right from Prince George to Rupert to Vancouver, everywhere. Uh, we become recognized by many people as very good service. Unfortunately, a couple months ago, Moon Bay Marina was forced to close down due to environmental issues beyond the outcome's control. I worked with Alcan very hard to find another location to build my own dock to tie up my tugs in order to stay in business. There's no waters around suitable for the depth I need and require. I then decided it was time to go to some council members to see if they could help me get merged at MK Bay where I've been refused. The reasons I have been refused merge don't make sense to people involved. So I went to Bob and I explained to Bob I did not want to go down to Marina on my own because of the conflicts we've had. So I thought it was better if I asked a council member to go down and represent me. Bob assured me he would. The next day Bob phoned me up and explained that he'd gone down and talked to the MK Bay manager on my behalf. Bob told me he was told they would do what they could to accommodate my needs. Bob suggested I should maybe try and go down and talk to him. For five days straight, I went to a marina every day, recorded the times, <coughs> asked to get in and see the manager. He wouldn't accommodate me. I then decided I'd go one step harder. And I phoned Madam Mayor. I explained to her the predicament I was in, I'd be short, forced to shut my business down if I can't secure a merge. Madam Mayor told me that she would phone the manager and see what she could do. She promptly phoned me back within a couple hours and explained to me that the manager assured her he would do everything he could to make room for me at the marina so that another business wouldn't go out of work. She then told me that you should try and contact me. There again, I tried for a week. My wife phoned daily, recorded the times. I went down to Marina, wasn't granted to talk to anybody. I've got three days left by this time before Moon Bay shuts down. You have to be out of Moon Bay. So I'm forced with a decision to make, like any other businessman. Do you close your doors and move, or do you try and stay? I contacted a lawyer in Vancouver, explained what I had done, and I asked him if there was any laws against me purchasing two vessels at the marina and removing them and putting my boats in their place. He required me to send him a copy of the marine contract. I did that. He then told me to go ahead and purchase the vessels and put mine in their place, simply based on the fact I was told by council members that the manager would do what he could to accommodate me. The excuses from the management is there is no room, I don't pay my bills, and we damage the marina. Well, for anybody to say I don't pay my bills is a liar, which I've proved. There is no evidence or no pictures to this date saying I've ever damaged the marina. So I'm back to where I have to seek a lawyer to try and help me through this. We then purchased the boats. I moved one of the vessels, put my boat in its place. My vessel was then removed from the marina and tied at another spot. I don't act on it on my own accord. I contact my lawyer. My lawyer tells me, make sure I have witnesses and move the boat back. I do this. I have three witnesses on the boat, four other witnesses at the marina. I move my boat back. The manager comes down to my vessel and 
tells me to move my boat. He's moved it once, he will not move again. I said, no, I'm staying tied up here. He then tells me they don't want me here, they never wanted me here, and I'll never be allowed to tie up to the marina. He then unties my vessel, throws the rope in my face, and very rudely continues to tell me to leave. I tell him I will not leave. He then phones the RCMP, the RCMP come down, and explain to both of us it's a civil matter. I didn't do any of these acts on my own without trying to get the right opinion from other people. The reason I'm here tonight is I believe Kidmat can't afford to lose any more jobs. I can't afford to go out of business. I employ nine people. I believe I probably support 97% of small businesses in Kidmat. The only time we don't support Kidmat is if we can't get it there, along with most other small businesses. I'm at the stage now where I go back and contact a lawyer who now tells me we have to file a suit against the regional board and the manager. So he goes ahead with this. He then gets a call from the regional board's lawyer telling me to vacate the dock or they will remove me. He asked the lawyer if the regional board would meet with us and discuss this matter. The regional board has refused. So I now have to go one step farther. I have to fly to Vancouver, pay a lawyer a lot more money, and proceed with legal actions. Today I'm told there'll be an answer. Also I'm told today that council does not want to talk to me, or the regional board, pardon me. So I think it's time that I ask for support. I'm a taxpayer of Canada, and indirectly I'm paying to keep to myself at a marina that I'm funding. Nobody's supporting me and paying my legal fees. I don't understand why I'm not allowed to tie up there. There is no polite reason for him to tell me I shouldn't be there. And I define anybody to tell me there is. And it's not right for personal opinions to get in the way of business. And that's clearly what's happening. It's not only myself that's at risk here. We've lost our local sawmill, we've lost pulp mills, we've lost everything around here. I contract for All West Trade in the North Coast Log Hammer, who moves pulp logs through Kidnap that go to our local pulp mills, Vancouver, House Sound. Port Alice, Port McNeil. Without me, Wayne Weber can't operate. Without Wayne Weber, the only little bit of log that's going on in Terrace is done. Without a pulp market, there is no saw log market. That comes to an end. Without me, the loggers that are logging down the channel cannot operate. I have a contract with Marine Harvest. We haul fish. The they employ 174 natives. I can't haul the fish. They can't work. I think it's time that everybody recognizes small business, what they do for their own communities. I know big business does lots, but so do we. And I would like to know what you people can do to help me. Because I sure ain't getting much help anywhere else. And I think it's only fair to ask. I would really like to see results because I am not going to back down. Whatever the legal fees cost me, when you know you've done no wrong, you don't stop. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Archibald.